Hello there! This is Jennifer Roberts with another tutorial video on using X-Plane 11. Today we'll take a look at a new feature coming in the X-Plane 1110 update, Joystick and Keyboard Profiles. This video was recorded using a preview copy of X-Plane 1110 Beta 1. Before this update, X-Plane remembered any changes you made to the joystick or keyboard settings as the one and only version in your preferences. In the 1110 update, you can now save as many different joystick and keyboard arrangements as you want, and have them loaded automatically with any aircraft you choose. When you update to 1110, your current preferences will become the default active profile called User Profile. When you create a new profile, we'll copy everything from the profile you were previously using into that new profile. This includes settings for devices that are not currently plugged in. Now let's walk through creating a new profile. Click the Active Profile drop-down here, pick Save as New Profile, and give it a name you'll remember. Now make any changes you'd like, and they'll save to this new profile automatically. To delete profiles and assign them to individual or groups of aircraft, Click the Manage Profiles button next to the Active Profile drop-down. You can manage all your profiles in the left side of this window. Click on the minus sign icon next to a profile name to delete it. Double-click on a profile name to edit it. You can also add a new profile here and then return to the joystick or keyboard settings screens to change its assignments. Assign your profiles in the column on the right side of the window. You can use the search bar or the expand and collapse buttons next to the aircraft types to narrow down your aircraft list. By clicking on the drop down next to an aircraft type, such as this helicopter type here, you can assign a profile to all aircraft of that type. Or of course, you can click on the drop down next to an individual aircraft to change profile assignments one by one. Profiles will also be assigned automatically when you change from one profile to another while a flight is in progress. Thus, you never have to manually assign aircraft associations if you don't want to. You'll just get whatever you were using last. I've used the joystick settings screen for all examples so far, and the process is nearly 100% identical for keyboard settings as well. The active profile, and Manage Profiles buttons are right where you expect them. Just remember that joystick and keyboard profiles are saved together under the same profile name. So any changes I make here will now be part of our existing helicopter profile because it's now our active profile. The X-Plane team is excited to bring this new joystick and keyboard profile feature to you in X-Plane 1110. As we go through the beta period, We'll be bringing more tutorials and features like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.